more than 12 million Americans are out of work, but there are more than 3 million job openings that are unfilled across the country. Now, it's something the president talked about during his State of the Union address. Washington correspondent Lauren Adams has more. Unemployment is a very real problem in America, and it's one the president has vowed to address. Too many Americans are working harder and harder just to get by, and too many still aren't working at all. That's why Pennsylvania Congressman Glenn Thompson co-sponsored the Skills, or Supporting Knowledge and Investing in Lifelong Skills Act. It's designed to train the unemployed for jobs that are currently available in the country. We want to provide people the training and the education uh, so that when they're done with that, they're able to go and, and uh, fill a job that's there. They can be hired. The president agrees, and it's a message he's taken on the road. The first step, he says, is creating more jobs. The next step is this. Training more Americans with the skills to fill those new jobs. The House version of the Skills Act gives states the power to train the unemployed and consolidates and eliminates some federal training programs. Thompson says the Skills Act does more than get people back to work. It benefits the country long term. It assures America's competitiveness because it provides a qualified and trained workforce for employers. Both Thompson and the president say properly training the workforce will strengthen the economy and the middle class. And every single day, I'm going to fight for these priorities to shift the odds back in favor of more working and middle class families. The House passed its version of the Skills Act 215 to 202. The Senate has yet to take up the issue. Thompson says he hopes the Senate can pass its own version of the act soon so the two chambers can put their versions together to come up with a compromise. Reporting in Washington, I'm Lauren Adams.